Hello Philadelphia, this is Reverend Nate. I am in Buford, South Carolina on St. Helena Island where I am in front of the Penn School and I want to read to you the marker. After the Union occupation of the Sea Islands in 1861, two northerners, Laura Town, who was a member of the First Unitarian Church of Philadelphia, and Ellen Murray came to assist the freed blacks of this area, establishing the Penn School here in 1862. The earliest known black teacher was Charlotte Fortin, who traveled all the way from Massachusetts to help her people. We are now in front of the Penn School and this beautiful museum, and I'm here to share with you what I have learned along the way. Let the journey begin. special place in the hearts of the people here on St. Helena Island. Had it not been for Ms. Town and Ellen Murray, the founders of the school, uh, this legacy would not have been left to us. Uh, I personally am a descendant of two generations who attended the school. Wow. Both my grandparents and my parents were students at the Penn School. Uh, during their uh, boyhood and girlhood uh, years. My grandfather was also the second basket instructor to teach here at the school. And every day when I come here and I see the baskets that he created in his classes, um, it just touches my heart to be able to tell others that I'm also personally connected to the hard work of the people who once uh, lived here. This picture uh, I met this woman right here a few years ago. One of my parishioners had died, and she came to the funeral. And after the service, she said, um, Do you know Reverend William Furness? And I said, Well, I know who he is. And he said, Well, I'm his great great granddaughter. I don't, I don't know if I have the great greats numbered right, but at any rate, uh, that's who that is, and she lived here in Beaufort for a number of years, and she's now since gone back to Philadelphia because she's um, gone back to be with her family. But that was an incredible photo. And then another person in my congregation knew her, and she gave her this photo and then made prints of it. And I have one, and Penn has one, and it's a wonderful thing. So that's that. Great. It's um, always useful uh, for Unitarian Universalists to, to understand their history, to energize their present. Um, so that would be my, my challenge to you know, long-time Unitarians, legacy Unitarians, universe, Unitarian Universalists, or, or those that have just come into the denomination. Um, it, it does have a rich history, uh, uh, whether it was the abolitionist movement, that sent Laura Town to Beaufort, whether it was the women's suffragette movement. Um, we just learned, I just learned recently that Claire Barton uh, was on this very campus uh, during the great uh, hurricane of uh, 1893 uh, to organize the relief. It was sort of chaotic and, and until a Universalist woman came and, and organized things. So uh, I think the more we know about our history, the more we can articulate who we are as a faith, not only in our theology, but by our social actions. And I can't help but believe that will bring more people to us who want to be associated with such a, so, such a rich faith. So I'm, I'm hopeful, uh, as is the Reverend White in, in her comments, that as we, in our little way, educate people to who Laura Town was, that'll take us to other less well-known Unitarians and Universalists who enriched the space over the years. And she told us the story of this place. And I thought, wow, for someone to 
lead a life of service where one sees the the absolute diamond in the piece of coal and lives a life committed to chiseling away and bringing forth that brilliance and shine and bringing a friend along I thought this is something I need to see and the impact of this place on the greater place it's just amazing so I thought I need to get here it is a pilgrimage for me but I should tell you it is part of a larger pilgrimage that began for me about a year ago when I took a civil rights tour in Memphis on through the south. Coming from Jamaica, the island in the Caribbean, this is a new interpretation of an old story. And so this is a part of this pilgrimage. I went to the Atlanta King Center and that's a part of this pilgrimage. And, and so it continues. And I just feel like I have to share the wealth, not only with my Unitarian and Universalist brothers and sisters, but with the world. And it certainly helps to reframe the history of this country, and indeed, the world. This district, and came to know its history, and was immediately enthralled with the Laura Town story. We, we often hear about, about exploits of, of combat and war and heroism and, and courage, but so rarely do we really hear stories of just incredibly courageous women. Um, a woman driven by her faith and her commitment to her Unitarian values that, that brought her down to this incredibly scary place, not having any idea what she would encounter here, and spent 40 years of her life just absolutely committed to doing the work that her soul drove her to do. And I just, um, I look to her as someone to help guide the work that I try to do today and even have just a smidgen of, of her courage and strength and, and perseverance to, to make a difference in the world. I feel blessed to be here. As I came in yesterday evening, I thought and felt a sense of wholeness, something around memory that I cannot explain. As the time has been unfolding, even ever so briefly, I understand much about interconnectedness, the interconnections, my people came from Africa to Jamaica, the country of Jamaica. The Gullah people who came from Africa, the interconnected threads. As I think of one thread, two amazing women who came standing for justice came to live their belief, their belief in one world and one equitable table. The interconnectedness around race, white and black working together to forge something new. I feel blessed and I feel as though um, the work that we do spiritual work is religion, it's holy work, and I feel blessed to be privileged to take a tiny, tiny role, that of being here, knowing that I will be back, and knowing that I will take what I learn and spread it.